Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our second example of a collision between two objects. Notice we have a large object moving to the right at 10 meters per second and a smaller object moving to the left at 70 meters per second. And yes, when we're dealing with momentum in collisions, we do indicate when we have a positive or negative direction because after all, these are vector quantities. Momentum is a vector quantity. Also notice that they tell us that the objects will stick together after the collision. That automatically means that the collision is not elastic, meaning energy is not conserved. Regardless, momentum is always conserved. So what we can do here is start with the equation that the momentum initial must equal the momentum final. Now the initial momentum consists of the two objects moving. So we have the first object, which is m1, with some initial velocity, in this case that would be 10 meters per second to the right, plus m2 times some initial velocity of the second object. Oh, this should be initial. Initial should be an i. And in this case, that will be a negative 70 meters per second. And that equals the two objects together, because after all, they tell us they will stick together after the collision with some final velocity. And of course, the object is to find the final velocity. Solving that for the final velocity, we can turn the equation around divide both sides by m1 plus m2, we can say that v final is equal to the left side, which is m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial, all divided by the sum m1 plus m2. Notice I'm not concerned with positive and negative signs here, I'm just simply adding the momentum together. When we plug in the values there, we'll get the correct signs afterwards. Now let's plug in the values and see what we get. So this is M1, and one is 3 kilograms. I'll leave off the units, makes it a little bit easier to see. V1 initial is 10 meters per second. That's a positive because it's to the right, plus M2, which is 1 kilogram. And in this case, velocity initial for the second object is to the left, so it would be a minus 70, all divided by the sum, which would be 3 plus 1. If we solve for this, we get the following. This is equal to 30 minus 70 divided by 4, which is minus 40 divided by 4, which is equal to minus 10. Now remember, we're looking for velocity, velocity final, and the units for velocity are meters per second. So notice that the final velocity of the two objects together after the collision is a negative 10 meters per second, which means they both will be connected, they stick together, and they'll be moving to the left at 10 meters per second. So here again, notice that Regardless whether or not the, the collision is elastic or inelastic, we always know momentum is conserved. We always start with the initial momentum must equal to the final momentum. We add up all the initial momentums, then we add up the final momentum, then we solve for the unknown variable, and automatically we get the magnitude and the direction of that if we put in the correct values here in the equation. And that's how it's done.